do you have any favorite childhood memory with your brothers? I think for us, it was just every time, it was like a daily occurrence. Whenever the Tahoe man started walking past our house, we used to always get it. We were addicted to it growing up. It all comes surrounded around food and getting together as a family, uh, whether that was lechon, uh, koali, which I used to love eating, sinigang. It was nice just to be in a, in a family environment where everyone's happy to be together. Everyone's so excited to spend time with each other. And I love that family element of it, and we all did. So uh, that was special. Philippines playing a massive part in my life. Ever since I was born now, I'm always happy and proud to say I'm born a Filipino. And uh, my family are, are a huge part of my life as well. And if ever I get the chance to meet them over here in England or fly across the world, wherever I need to go, I'll be the first on the plane to go see them because I love spending time with them. We're always laughing, we're always doing karaoke, and uh, it's good fun. <laughs> Does your family follow any Filipino tradition that you remember? Do you still do stuff that, you know, Filipino families do? Yes, yeah, so my mom and I pray on FaceTime regularly. My mom's my mom's very religious because I don't live at home anymore. We pray as often as we can together. It's a nice moment for me and my mom to, to spend together, and as well as that, give thanks for, for everything that God's blessed us with and that we hope for in the future. So that's nice for me and my mum to do. As well as that, during the Christmas time, we spend a lot of time together. We do midnight mass. We do all that sort of stuff, which for us, obviously over here, is slightly different in the English tradition, but we've, we've stuck with that. There are not a lot of Asians who play professional rugby. Do you feel that you have a chip on your shoulder and that you need to prove to everyone that Asians and half Asians can compete with the best in the world. I don't feel I have a, a chip on my shoulder. I feel that I have a role that I've been put on this earth to do and, and through my sport, I, I want to be able to inspire and influence as many people as I can. And I'm very grateful. I, I'm half Filipino, half English. So my sphere is slightly bigger and, and I hope to make a difference, not just here in England, but also in Philippines, because as I said, it, it holds a special place in my heart. And, and one day I will be doing things over there that will make me proud of myself and hopefully help many young people in Philippines get into rugby and get into sport and do the right thing because I see that as really important in my life. Stronger Together, the GMA Pinoy TV Podcast Season 3. Hosted by Tony Pua. Now available on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and the GMA Pinoy TV Facebook page.